Welcome. All right, so in this case, what I have is sine of x divided by cosine of x squared minus 1 divided by cosine squared of x. And what we're going to want to do in this case is obviously you know, simplify these as best as possible. Well, we know when we have sine of x divided by cosine of x, I can rewrite that as tangent. And since that's being squared, this gives me tangent squared of x minus 1 over cosine squared of x uh, by using the reciprocal identities. That's going to be secant squared of x. So now I go and look at these and I say, all right, well, you know, what can I do with tangent squared of x minus secant of x? Well, I know that by looking at the Pythagorean identities, I know that tangent and secant are related to each other by my Pythagorean identities, where I have 1 plus tangent squared of x equals secant squared of x. So I can really replace either one, whatever I want to do. So let's just um, let's replace the secant. So I have tangent squared of x minus secant is equal to 1 plus tangent squared of x. Now I apply my distributive property here. And you can see now this is going to be tangent squared of x minus 1 minus tangent squared. So my tangents are going to subtract to 0, and I'm just left with a negative 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify this trigonometric identity. Thanks.